Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2018. The given question is a lexical analyzer uses the following patterns to recognize three tokens T1, T2 and T3 over the alphabets A, comma B. T1 is A question mark. Okay, so they are given. Note that question mark, sorry, X question mark means 0 or 1 of the occurrence of x okay so note all that all also that the analyzer output the tokens that matches the longest possible prefix okay so if the string b b a a c a b c is processed by the analyzer which of the following is the sequence of a token output okay Okay, so I think they are trying to ask what will be the output if they use these things, right? Yes. Okay, so first we need B, B, A, A, C, A, B, C. Okay. I'm a bit confused with that representation, guys. So they are saying A question mark. Okay. Means a zero or okay, 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 okay. So now I understood. So instead of writing these traditional regular expressions, they wrote in that just to confuse us, guys. Oh my God. Right, yes. So they are saying A could be 0 or 1 occurrence, right? So it is A plus epsilon. Similarly, B plus epsilon. Similarly, C plus epsilon. Moving on, this thing I think everyone knows. So it is a B or a C whole star, A or a C whole star, B or a C, sorry, B or A whole star, and similarly A, B, and see got it yes so i think this is really a smart way right yes okay so let us think of using a guys so if i want to use in this order so t1 t2 t3 so if i want to use in the same exact order so here i cannot take anything because first i want to be so i will take epsilon here i will take two b's from here okay so from t1 i will generate two b's and single a okay so after that t2 i need to execute so from here i will take first round i will take a in the next round i will take c after that i will take a after that from here i will take b okay so from here i will take epsilon from here i will take epsilon from here i will take c so basically using the first pattern i think it is possible right yes so which one of the following is the sequence of token output okay yes so using a i think it is possible right yes similarly moving on to the second pattern b so B says you should use a, T1 twice. So using the first round, I will generate B, B, A. And using the second round, I will generate A, C and A, right? Yes. And after that, I can use T3. Okay. So using T3, here I will take Epsilon. Here I will take B. And here I will take C. Okay. So using this is also possible. Okay. Moving on to C. So if I try with the C, if I select the same pattern that is a T2, T1 and T3. So first I want a B. Okay, so I will take one B from here. For second B I need to come here because in between I cannot generate B. So B, B I have generated. Okay, so after that I need to execute a T1. So from here I will gen I will take first A. After that again I need to come here. So two A's have been taken. So again I will now come to T3. So here I will take C. Okay, after that I will generate A, B. And after that I will generate C. Okay. So using everyone is possible. Am I missing something? So let us try this T3, T3 at the end. D, T3, T3. So first I want B, B, A, A, C. Okay, in the second round I will generate A, B, C. Oh my God. So everyone is possible. Using any pattern I can generate, right? So if a string B, A, A, C, A, B, C is processed by the analyzer, which one of the following is the sequence of token outputs? Okay, so just to give me a second, I'll be cross-checking this answer. I'm a bit confused now. So I think with everyone, it is being possible, right? Yes, so just to give me a second. Okay, so after reading the question once or twice, I noticed one major thing here, guys. So they told that, note also that the analyzer output, the token that matches the longest string. Okay, so let us write down the longest strings which we generated, which guys. So uh, B, B, A, has been generated by t1 okay similarly uh, t2 t2 right so from t2 we generated a c a b so we generated t2 from here 
and in the last one we generated only that okay so here the maximum length is a 4 so when it comes to the second one here in the first part we generated b b a using t1 after that we generated a and c and a using a t2 sorry again t1 and using this we generated t3 okay okay so now moving on to option d so here the minimum length is 3 so option b is out of the race now so now moving on to option c option c first we selected t2 so from t2 i selected b and b that's it so this is a t2 moving on to t1 first i selected singly and the last a so t1 and after we selected t3 so here also the length is of 4 so i think d should have more right yes so first i generated using a t3 i generated a b b a a c okay so here i got 5 so d is the correct answer oh my god this is really a good question right yes and it's a recent question yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this right yes so this is a really smart and good question the thing is here is the keyword guys so that is the main keyword here right yes longest possible prefix right yes okay and to be clear solving op2 here is also enough guys because we want only prefix right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question right yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you